Welcome back to Chucky Table Media. How are you doing at this hour? It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Everybody's preparing now to go for the weekend. How about you? What are you doing now at this moment? Put your comment in the comment section. Let me know what you're doing at, at this particular moment. Getting prepared for the weekend? For another party by the, you know, by the weekend on Saturday? Or oh, this Friday evening and, uh, you know, till Saturday morning? Anyway, whatever you do, just take care of yourself and uh, be careful what you do. Don't drink too much. Don't eat too much. Just do your best and uh, be moderate in whatever you do. This is Chucky Table Media. Welcome back. Yeah. For the past uh, one week or two weeks thereabout, I think we've been talking about uh, investment. And I'm right back here now to talk you know, with you regarding this this investment stuff that uh, we just open up, huh? and I believe uh, maybe the previous videos that I've done regarding uh, the way to help ourselves to be more conscious regarding uh, the way we put our money, where we put our money, and uh, how we can uh, allow our money to work for us. I think uh, you've seen the video, and if you haven't seen the video, if you haven't watched the video, just go back on this channel and try to go and watch. And uh, try to catch catch some catch some fun, and uh, try to you know uh, take the lesson in there, and try to do something with your own life too, you know. And uh, I have never forgotten about my promises to keep delving into this part of life, whereby at least it will benefit us at uh, you know at a later part of our life and a pretty long life for every one of us. For instance, talking about retirement, you know, I want to I'm preparing to bring it back to you, you know. Uh, back to back and uh, try to you know make it more robust and that is why it's not right here yet but i'll bring it for you uh with a lot of interviews of people that are uh, really matters you know both here and uh, abroad so that at least uh we can all learn from each other to know how we're gonna get ourselves prepared for our retirement because the time is nearing and uh, you know you can leave everything for chances you can't leave anything for chances, just do something right now. If you've not been doing anything, just let today be the, you know, the first day or the day you have to take action. Let this hour be the time that you're going to take action regarding your future, regarding, regarding how you're going to spend your retirement time, you know, and uh, regarding where you're going to put your money to make your money work for you, you know. I'm talking about multiple stream of income. If you're on salary now and, uh, you know, you're handing something, yeah, you're in trade and stuff like that, and you're in business like that, just got the habit of saving some money for yourself. And uh, where you keep your money really matters, you know. Keep your money where your money will be able to work for you. And then I just want to let you know now that uh, uh, the stock in the market, the banks that, that are in the market, that came to the market to look for money from, uh, from investors, most of them have closed now. The offer has closed now. For instance, the offers of uh, uh, guaranteed trust is gone. The offer for fidelity is gone, and uh, assets supposed to have gone in the, in, the, in the last couple of days, but now they are back into the market, you know. And I keep wondering, I mean, is 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 the money they're raising not enough for them right now, or they really want over subscription for the how far they, they put in the market, or are the are the people, you know, the the current or present shareholder not taking up their right or stuff. But I mean, I don't really know why they have to keep coming back to the market because this is, I think about the second time now they are coming back to say, okay, the offer has closed and then again, they just come back immediately and said, no, we, we, we've extended it again. So, I mean, I, I just don't know why it's like that anyway. So let's keep watching to try to determine what uh, the assets is, tr is trying to do. Then uh, the rest of them are still open right now. Asset is still in the market, like I said. You can try to do something about it if you really want to take up your right and uh, you know do something about it. And I think I believe no Zenit is still in the market. I think I have made a video about Zenit as well. So try to go do something about Zenit. Zenit is there, and I think the offer closes uh, by fourth of September. Fourth of fourth of September. Yes, if I'm not mistaken, just try to find out. I think fourth of September. So if we haven't done that yet, please try to go and do it. Check it out now. You know. Pick up your right and uh, pick up more, you know, more shares of Access Bank. I mean, it's a very good investment if you really wish. So try to do something about that as well. Zenit is there. Do something about it. FCMB is still open as well. Do something about it as well, you know. Do something. Just put some money aside, you know. 
like I calculated, you know, what you need for this investment is not is, is, is not more than 10,000 Naira. So do something about it. The FCMB is open. Do something about it. Put your money where it's worth it and then put your money where you'll be able to raise, you know, have extra money for yourself. And that's what I'm that's why I'm here trying to talk to you. Then, uh, yeah, the purpose of this video right now is to talk about us and ask us and let us have a kind of robust, robust discussion about how, how we raise money. How do you raise money? In which group are you? How do you save money? In which which places are you still saving your money? So let's talk about it. My experience, your experience really count for every other person to try to pick something out of it, you know? So far, so good. I know traditionally there's something we call our jaw, you know, Ajo, they call it a susu and uh, stuff like that, you know. That's uh, really another way. Traditionally, our people really do come together and raise money for themselves to serve, you know, a purpose for themselves, you know, to save for the future, save for one year, save for, you know, for two years and depending depending on the on how, how big the group is. So Ajo is one of those places where whereby people put their money, people come in group. Other than that, there are these people, you know, there are... There, there are administrators that take this as you know as a job you know locally whereby you know they move from one places to the other and they have their cards created for their customers you know like that and they record the money like this like a, like a mini bank you know they go like an agent of a bank from shop to shop from house to house and keep asking for your silver asking for your tire asking for your gloria and asking for your chidima where's the money put your money you know come and drop your money so you know people just i mean this administrator just go around and uh, you know they collected money and keep it keep it for them for a certain period of time and this is what we call our job you know it's like that and uh, you know it's, it's a traditional way whereby you know our people really you know they they try to you know to make money i mean to to keep money yeah to keep money not really raising money so at a time if they need money they can also ask the agent they can also ask the administrator of their job that is going around moving around asking them for money to, to save the money with them so definitely they can borrow money from the they can lend money from the agents and at, you know at a later time now come back and uh, you know return the money back to to the agent like that so but they must have some they must, they must definitely have you know an um, amount of money whereby they've kept also with the agent as well so and that's that's the way another way that people used to raise money or people used to keep money is you know by you know semi formal group whereby people come together and say okay they have a kind of like mind, you know, they call them like minded group whereby, you know, they said, OK, we need to come together, you know, work together to try to start a business or raise money and stuff like that to help each other. So it's quite different from our job, but they call it like minded, you know, certain numbers of certain numbers of group coming together to, you know, try to help themselves. You know, this this one is not our job. They don't. They don't contribute money or they raise money to borrow each other or stuff like that. They contribute money as they want and a certain amount of money and they look for a certain, a, a, a certain a suitable business which they think is okay for them to do and there they go into that. And, uh, you know, according to my experience, I have seen a lot of them like that that doesn't really work. You know, like the stuff they are of, of Ajo that I talk about, there's a lot of disappointment in there, in Ajo thing that we do because, I mean, sometimes, you know, People get duped with their money, with their sweat like that. The administrator could get robbed anyway. The agent could get robbed anyway. People can could also, you know, lend some money, borrow money from the agent and they don't really, re, I mean, return the money back to the agent at the end of the day. So putting the agents, you know, in trouble. So the same thing with this like-minded group whereby, you know, people contributed money at the end of the day. The business will not work because sometimes this group are too large to control. And, you know, another problem with this type of semi-formal group that I'm talking about is, you know, they lack purpose, they lack focus. Some people only hear, okay, we're going to put our money in business, but they don't really know what it is. They don't really know the, the, the meaning of what they are doing. You know, a lot of people coming back together with different, different ideas. Some people even think, you know, it's just a kind of get rich quick, you know, get there and let us distribute money. When the money is, when the money comes in, that we just distribute, distribute the money, or immediately when we start the business, we start to you know distributing the money or share the money within ourselves, which is not like that. Business doesn't work that way. Business takes time to start to yield uh, profit, start to yield you know income for the organizers of the business. So this like-minded group do have their own problem too. So so far so good. I I was involved in one or two like that that I see that uh, you know. Uh, you, you're, you're just sitting together with people that say they have a like mind, but at the end of the day, 
their mind is not the same. They, they, they don't really have like mind or they are not like minded. So these are just part of the problem we encounter with this you know, way we raise money. So my purpose here is to just you know, expose to you how we raise money. I'll put money together. So, and that's it. You know, if you have, you know, your own experiences whereby, you know, you, you, you guys come together in group and you try to raise money. Let me know, you know, what you do to raise money and how successful it is so that we can actually teach, 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 teach each other and understand from each other how to, you know, navigate our finances, you know. So, another way is to borrow money. You can also borrow money from friends and family and stuff like that to start business. But, eh? You know, what is the rate of success of all this one? You know, definitely you don't need your money, only your money to start business. You still need money from, uh, you know, from banks and uh, from friends and family also to, you know, put together also to, you know, to start a business if that is actually what you want to do. But we look at the rate of success, you know, how well, you know, how well has the business gone? How well is this scheme? You know, how well has it succeeded in your own environment? Just let me know. Put your comment in the comment section. You can also give me a call. So let us discuss so that at least we can educate each other on this uh, trajectory that we're talking about. So what I want to do is to, you know, I mean, clear our awareness, raise our awareness so that at least we wouldn't lose our money wherever we put our money. So my goal is to, you know, allow us, you know, tell us how we can keep our money, how we can raise money, and at the same at the same time, how we can let our money work for us so that at least we can increase whatever money we have in our bank account or what you have under your pillow, you know, under your bed. That those money are not supposed to be there. They're supposed to be working for you. So now, but I want to give you an alternative right now that is currently open and it's gonna hope it's gonna be closed today and uh, for you not to doing it doing it today or this month doesn't really matter but i want you to be aware about it and actually sense i will come back to you to give you an exclusive discussion about it so that at least if the joy is not working for you if semi former is not working for you if investment group is not working for you because that's another way you raise money investment group you can come together like three four five and six like that i'm involving one anyway Coming back together like that, put yourself together and raise some money. At least after some certain time, certain period of time, you can also put that money, put that money in what you think it's okay for you. I've seen some group like 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 uh, investment group like that, that that are really into real estate, and I've seen people, you know, they bought lands and stuff like that for each members of the family. They even bought houses for each members of the group. So it's like that. So those are the good examples of this, uh, you know, like-minded or investment group that I'm talking about. So. The rate of success over there, if they really understand what they are doing and if they know the purpose of why they're together and they try to give, you know, work under the rule, under the conditions being, being there, being set down, the constitution being set down by the organization, by the group, by the investment group, then it, those type of group do work, you know, at times if you have, you know, correct people, the right people in place to manage this organization. So these are just the thing I'm talking about. So coming back to the real one I'm talking now, the one in the in the market now that you can also try to make, you know, make use of to keep your money. You know, you don't have to be in a group. You don't have to be in a job. You don't have to be in a semi-formal group or stuff like that to, you know, be able to raise money. You can also do something personally without, you know, you know, joining together with anybody to do this stuff. And what I'm talking about is federal government, uh, FDN bond, federal government bond that comes out every month, comes out every month in Nigeria, talking about Nigeria this time around. I will later come back and talk to you about, you know, ETFs and stuff like that in the Western world where I live here, right here, so that at least, I mean, we can also try to do something there. You know, there's several schemes with your bank in the, in, in the diaspora as well. Just go in there and ask them about investment. They will be able to explain to you what you need to do. The special savings account that you can have and the special investment uh, uh, accounts that you also have together with your account, whereby you'll be able to put some money and uh, at the end of the year or at the end of time, you do have some money coming back to you. Your, your money is not actually lying, is lying there uh, 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 useless, you know? Uh, 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 lying there useless and uh, you're not doing nothing, nothing about it. So try to put your idle fund, you know? Your idle fund in something that will be, you know, yielding money for you at the end of it. So I'm talking about Nigeria now, the federal government savings bond, it comes out every month between the first of the first day of the month till sometimes seventh or sixth or like that or twelfth of the month like that, depending. So they do come out. If you need to do this, it's really pays because I mean, you know, you are not in a group. You are, you are the controller of yourself, your con you controller of your finances. Then you can do this, you know, apply, take this form that comes out every time. 
uh, every month. Then after that, you know, consult your consult with your stock brokers and stuff. They will direct you further when you fill the form and stuff like this. Then your money will be able to work for you personally. This cannot fail. You know, they have, you know, the tenor for two years. They have tenor for three years at the same time. But the tenor for two years and three years are different. You know, the interest there are different. You know, like currently the one, the one I have right now, the one in the market right now that is going to be close today, uh, like the advice I got from my, from my stockbroker, it says... It says uh, um, the offer opens on Monday, August 12, 2024, and closes on uh, Friday, August 16, 2024. And the interest rate for two years FDN savings bond is, uh, you know, 17.37% uh, per annum. That's what you're going to have. That's what you're going to get if you go for two years uh, tenor. And if you go for three years tenor, what you're going to have is 18%. 0.37, 0.37 per annum. That's what you're gonna. That's what you're gonna get. You you know what they call MPR. You know monetary policy 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 rate. And uh, you know this is this is what affect this. And uh, you know you can have this on uh, on savings account at all. So this is the highest. You know they can pay back to you in Nigeria when you apply when you uh, apply with um, when you take up the the FDN savings bond. Pardon me. So that is what you have to do. So this cannot fail. And uh, what you will earn after a uh, quarterly, after three months, and then after the tenor that you have, like two, three years that you have, then you're gonna have your money back. So that means definitely you're not losing any money. You have your money back, and at the same time, you keep on having your interest, depending on the way you want it. You might even arrange to have your interest quarterly. You arrange your, your you can also arrange to have your uh your interest, interest payments, you know like per month if you are actually you've retired and this is where you put your mind to be getting your own salary like that you can rearrange you can reschedule like that and uh, the money will be coming back to you so it's sure bet because it is government guarantee it is the federal government guarantee we have this type of uh, we have this type of investment in every land in every country be in the us be in asia be in europe you can ask them you can apply and do this stuff it really matters it matters to me for you to be able to make something back you know look at it federal government savings bond it's actually the same name or similar name in every country as well so anyway people argue against it and talk about what about inf i mean what about inflation over time but you know like i used to say just do something with your life do something with your money stop looking at that inflation how much do you even have that you're talking about inflation put something aside and just remember that at the end of the at the end of the day your in the interest you will collect during these two years or three years will surpass the in, will surpass the inflation the inflation rate in the country because these funds are really well managed these funds are really well managed so i want you to look into federal government savings bond today you know actually the one for this month closes today i know it should have closed now should have closed right now maybe after the the the, the after the trading after the trading today maybe the, the, the after the market today it should have been closed so for sure the one of the next month is coming as well for september look out for it and if you want us to talk more about it if you need my experience about this federal government savings but i'll be able to explain more to you like i said i will come with a comprehensive uh broadcast about this so that at least you can see uh i mean how it works and what it is and uh, what did they what are they using really using the money for and uh, even some people say some some of them are not halal but let us talk about it the halal and the haram stuff let us talk about it i mean halal super and water halal doesn't really make us to be poor so you have to do something with whatever resources it gives to you it gives resources to people God give resources to you, and uh, you know you have to know how to do uh, what to do with the with the resources given to you, and that is why if you're talking about alal and uh, a ram and stuff like that, you there's uh, there's a scheme they call sukuk bond, there's sukuk bond as well, and the interest rate as well is the same. Sukuk is Islamic uh, is, is Islamically backed bond in the market. It's everywhere, Just most especially in Nigeria. If you're a Muslim, even if you're a Christian, there's something you can do as well with sukuk bond. So like I said, we're coming back to you to talk about different type of bonds. And that one of them is Sukuk Bond, Sukuk bond that I talk about now. S-U-S-K-U-K, -S Sukuk Bond, and bond in front of it. Ask your stockbroker. They will tell you uh, what it is and they will direct you on what to do. So now I want you to look at this Federal Government Service Bond. It comes every month. Just let us assume you put your money. You can invest up to 50 million Naira. And that is the... 
That is the maximum you can go. And the minimum you can go is 5,000 Naira. The minimum is 5,000. So you know how many 5,000 Naira you waste You waste all the time or you've wasted in the past? If you this 5,000 Naira every month, keep it somewhere, you know, buy bond with this 5,000 Naira. Buy, buy bond with this 5,000 Naira. Everybody can do this. So far, you are you are, you are, you you've qualified. You have the age. You are over. You are about you are above eighteen years old. So then you can do this five thousand naira. Keep it aside every month, every month, year in year out, year in year out. Keep doing it, and at the end of the month or at the end of the quarter, the money will keep coming back to you. And at the end of the tenor, your bulk money will come back into your accounts. You know that's what I mean. Don't think. Uh, don't think. Don't think that those monies are too small. It's too little for you to put aside. 5,000 Naira minimum is 5,000 Naira. Do something about it. Ask your stockbroker. Ask your friends and family as well. Inquire about it. Go and read more about it. Do some research about it. Federal government bonding. Like 5,000 Naira is the minimum. And the maximum is 50 million Naira. Imagine if you are at your retirement age and you have such amount of money kept somewhere. You know, at 18% or 18 point something percent, 73%, 73 and the money keep coming back to you continuously, continuously for three years or for two years. You know, you're handing your salary. You live a good life. And you don't have to worry about any other thing anymore. Money is coming to you it's just like you are still working. Yes, you are relaxing. So because you put your money where your money is supposed to be. You, you did investment when you're supposed to do the investment. So think about it. Arrange yourself. Ask me questions. And uh, ask your stockbroker questions as well. They will be able to tell you more about what I'm talking about. So take care of your investment and take care of life. Take care of your, take care of your life as well. You know, talk to each other, advise each other about this, you know. And uh, if you need to see, you know, how the form is, you can put your email in the email, in the, in the comment section. I can send you the specimen of the form and the information regarding the form. I send it to you. You don't have to pay me. I don't need your money. I'm not asking for money from you. And I'm not your, uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a qualified advisor on, on finance. I'm only coming back around here to use my own talents and what I know to expose all these things that we don't know, expose it to every one of us and for us to go forward and make more research on it. And that is the reason I'm doing this. So, I mean, that is the caveat I'm trying to give to you. So I'm not an expert wherever I will tell you, buy this, don't buy this and that and that. I can only tell you what I buy too and I show you evidence of what I buy so that at least maybe you want to do the same thing with me, then it's okay. Then just try to arrange yourself. That is, that is my point. So I won't go more than this and uh, if you have comments, put your comment in the comment section. Don't forget to share this and uh, like it as well and uh, you know, help me with this to, you know, to subscribe. It will be the best and that's the only thing you can do for me. This is Chucky Table Media. I will come back to you to give you the full exclusive like I said in, the, in this broadcast. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye bye for now.